So I think uh, the, the arguments you mentioned about against uh, stem cell research and, uh, and therapy are actually um, coming from a, a wrong, uh, let's say, uh, point of view. Uh, Islam as a religion asks us to question, to search, and to, to discover the world around us and to use it to benefit mankind and humanity and even uh, all living creatures and earth. This is our message. This is what we should do on earth. So in that sense, we should explore and discover. And as science has advanced, we have been able to understand the genetics of cells and organisms. We have been able to uh, manipulate these genes. Uh, we are still working on it to get better and better, manipulate the cells, and yes, uh, ultimately uh, be able to produce an organ from a single cell, uh, maybe produce an organism from a single cell, uh, and probably we will maybe eventually reach uh, the ability to clone a human being. This is science and, and it is moving along, regardless we want it or we don't. And Islam asks us to, to actually jump on that train and be part of the train and contribute to it. Now in terms of ethics, uh, preserving human, humankind, again I go back to that argument of arrogance that we are special and we cannot be touched. We are part of the process of all the evolving human uh, organisms in the, universe, in the earth and if science is giving us tools to improve our, life, our life, our health, why not use it so long as we are abiding by the ethics uh, of, of humanity, the ethics of human-human uh, interaction, the ethics of living in harmony with the earth and other organisms around us. Now, who puts these ethics or these guidelines? Uh, most probably, the ethics that we're talking about are not particular to a religion. These are particular to humankind. These are universal ethics. Such, for example, lying is wrong. No religion, no uh, human being will deny that fact. So we're talking about that kind of ethics when we're talking about human beings and cloning and all that. So what we propose uh, as Muslims, if we want to uh, be part of the scientific progress and at the same time preserve our religion and our ethics, which is part of the humanity, is to uh, address these issues uh, and forefront and very boldly to establish committees of different stakeholders, uh, which include the scientists, the physicians, the patients, the social scientists, uh, the ethical, uh, the bioethicists, and put them all together and address these issues and explore what is applicable, what is allowed, and what is not allowed. And then that these committees, uh, whatever they produce as a verdict, that this should also be revisited every few years, depending on the scientific discoveries that are happening. Uh, and it's an ongoing process. And this is also part of the message of Islam. It's, Islam is not stagnant. It's for every place and every time. But it, it, it needs the Muslims to actually be very active and dynamic to address the issues that are coming up uh, and to respect whatever opinions came before, but to be bold and courageous to address the new issues that come uh, with the advancement of science. le miséricordieux ne peut donner l'existence à de nombreux univers euh, avec des propriétés. Beaucoup de gens pensaient que c'était des routes pour les militaires et les marchandises et puis les pèlerins, point. Eh bien non, ce sera aussi la route du savoir. La route des savoir-faire et la route des savoir-savants.